All right, good morning. Um, I'm Brianna Trevino, one of the school counselors, and with me is um, Maurice Montero. And we are going to be delivering this um, lesson that is specific to sophomores. All right, so our agenda for today is to start a personal education plan, also referred to as a PEP, and introducing SCORE and how to create a profile and then how to upload your PEP into SCORE. All right, so what is a PEP? PEPs help students plan for high school graduation and college and career readiness. You might be thinking, I'm only a sophomore, I have a lot of time to figure it out, and you do, but we just want to, um, we want to have you start thinking about, you know, future planning, and um, the PEP really encourages critical thinking about your, um, your strengths, your weaknesses, your likes, and your dislikes um, in regards to planning for a career, and I'm sure some of you reflect on this already, like what you're wanting to do after high school, if you're wanting to go to college, if you're wanting to do vocational or trade school, or if you're wanting to just go directly into um, the workforce. So this just gives you an opportunity to write down your thoughts. So we'll walk you through filling out your PEP today, and you'll find a fillable copy to download and to work, with, um, work on with us. You can find one in Canvas and in your email. So I'll give you a little bit, a couple seconds to pull that up. It's two pages and only three questions. So we can fill it out um, during this lesson together. And we'll take a look at question number one right now. Okay, while well, you're still looking for that, in the December advisory lesson, you completed the VIA character strength questionnaire. Try to remember your top strengths. If you didn't complete the questionnaire or can't remember, look through the strengths below and identify what you think your top strengths are. At the bottom is the question for you to answer. What were your top three VR character strengths? List them and write a sentence describing how much strength, how each strength will make you more successful in the job you might have or might have during your high school years. On your paper, you will also see a few examples. For example, kindness. Kindness will help me be more patient and understanding with different kinds of customers at the store I work at or will work at. Humor will help me handle my mistakes better and help me support my coworkers when they make mistakes or are feeling down. Creativity will help me think of different ways of doing something. I think about different strategies and moves I would use to improve performance, like I do in one of my favorite games or sports. Go ahead and fill in your answers in the spaces provided we will now give you one minute to complete this question, but you'll have time to complete it in class today too. So knowing your character strengths can help us in school too. When we work on projects together and ask questions, and even when we make a plan to complete an assignment on time, we're also teaching ourselves habits for success. Now let's look at the second question on the next page. Describe at least one academic goal for the semester and why it's important to you. Be as specific as possible, one to two complete sentences. Check out the examples of academic goals. For example, I wanna earn all Bs and above because I know I'm capable. And it makes me feel proud to do my best with my classwork. I wanna get better at writing paragraphs and read at least two books this semester. I wanna get better asking for help from my teacher when I'm confused with a math assignment. Take a moment to type in your answer in the space provided. Goal setting is, really important, is a really important skill and remember making short-term goals helps achieve your long-term goals. Okay, let's move on to the third question. Describe at least one goal you have for after you graduate and why it's important to you. It's fine if you don't have it completely figured out, but be as specific as possible. Check out the examples on how to answer this question. Okay, some examples. I wanna attend a program to become an auto mechanic and own my own repair shop someday. It's important because I like working with my hands, fixing things, and I like the, the, the idea of owning my own business. I wanna to go to college. 
I don't know what I want to do as a career, but I want to have the college experience. And I think I want to become a nurse. My mother's friend is a nurse and her job seems really interesting and fulfilling. Go ahead and take a moment to type in your answer in the space provided. So hopefully that wasn't too hard, but it'll help you connect how your strengths and current interests can help you with your future goals. We're going to come back to this document. Please save and download your PEP now. When you save a document, it's helpful to name it with something that's easy to recognize, the content. You, you'll be opening this again next year. When I know I'm going to upload a document, I like to save it to my desktop so I can easily find it later. Okay, so we're going to shift gears and introduce you to SCORE. SCORE is an online pl platform that helps students learn about themselves and create real realistic plans for their future goals. We'll be using SCORE to store our PEPs and other documents so you can review and amend your goals as needed. When we do things like take the VIA Character Strength Survey and writing about our goals, we're learning more about ourselves. Career research shows that when, do, when we do a job that uses our strengths and skills and challenges us, we'll be happier. Okay, let's get you signed up for SCORE. You should have received an email from SCORE inviting you to follow a link and sign up. And if you don't know how to find your email, please go to the distance learning portal at the address above and click on Ashland High or AHS student email. And on the screen, you can see a, a big blue arrow icon pointing that out. Please open this invitation to score and click on the link provided. Some of you may have already done this and that's great. And if you haven't, no worries, we'll do it right now together. Hopefully you have your SCORE account open right now. And um, if you didn't receive an invitation for SCORE, just let your counselor know and we'll be happy to make sure that you get that link. All right, so before we go any further, let's go over what we will do in SCORE today. So first we will create a profile in SCORE and you will be able to upload your PEP that we just saved to your computer into SCORE so you can easily find it. And then we're also going to learn more about what SCORE has to offer in a really short video. So your, um, your homepage should look like this one that Carrie created with a demo account. You're gonna click on my profile. And again, you'll see a blue icon pointing that out at the top. Make sure the information is correct on your profile. If it's not, um, you can use the pencil icons to make edits as necessary. So congratulations, um, you are now officially signed up with SCORE and you can access your account anytime. Um, and we encourage you to look around. There's a lot of really cool features available. All right, and we are now going to go over how to upload documents. So go ahead and scroll to the very bottom of your profile page. Okay, I'm sure most of you know how to upload a file by now because we do it so much. My, at your My Drive space, you can drop, upload, or link files. Go ahead and click on the box that says drop files to attach or browse at the bottom. It will open this box and from here you can choose your file or drag your PEP documents you just saved. If you open choose files, you will open another window and can select, select your PEP document from here. When I know I have to upload a document, I like to save it from my desktop and then I can drag it to this box and not have to go looking for it. Hope this is easy for you. Now you have a new window open that look, should look like this. And you can see your file listed, however you named it. Now you must click on the blue upload button you see in the lower right hand corner. There's another window after this. This window verifies the document was uploaded, but now it wants to know if you want to hide this document from your parents. Yes, your parents can have access to your score account, but you control what they see, and what they cannot see. You can always change this later and it's completely up to you. So don't forget to click the save button to complete the upload process. Now you're back to your profile page and you have your documents stored in your My Drive section. It'll be a lot easier next time. All 
All right, so SCORE is so much more than a place to just store your PEP. So we're gonna watch a short video um, that they created showing how they support students with learning more about themselves and the world of work. All right, so um, hopefully that video kind of gave you a better sense of what all it offers. And it's really a useful tool for you and your family to use as far as um, planning for the future. So heads up, it's already that time of year again, um, looking forward to junior year. And um, we're hoping that we can um, finish course requests before spring break. Next slide, please. All right, so that is the end of our presentation. Um, thank you so much for um, your time this morning and the important work that you did to complete your PEP, get it uploaded into your score account that you've created. Um, if you have any questions, please contact your counselors. We're happy to help um, with this process of future planning. All right, have a good day, everyone. Take care. Thanks for joining us.